What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fresh Prince Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown slash sky report on Darnell Washington. If you're new here, check out the channel as we have a whole 40-player playlist full of different prospects as well. Positional rank is coming out pretty soon. Without further ado, let's get started. He's a 6'7", 265-pound junior tight end from Georgia. Uh, stats from his career, he's had 44 receptions, 746 receiving yards, and three touchdowns. Awards from, he was 2022 national champ and 2023 national champ. And second team all SEC in 2022, as well as a five-star ATH athlete coming out of high school. Strength for Washington, he plays with, you know, a size athleticism that makes him dangerous on the field. He has the physical traits to dominate at the next level at 6'7", 265 pounds. He has good length and is overall a strong tight end. He moves very well for his size. After the catch, his size, strength, and athleticism are hard to bring him down. He fights for extra yards and makes, you know, tackling him a challenge. Washington also plays with a huge catch radius. He towers over defenders and reaches... You know using his height advantage he you know has really he really does have the potential at the next le level with that you know large catch radius to be a red zone threat as an inline blocker he's like another tackle using his length to have you know good leverage and great lead block with his athleticism to be able to move cons from though he's not a versatile you know tight end receiver Kyle Pitts style of NFL tight end that we have now He's more of a traditional tight end that doesn't have much flexibility in his routes. He's a raw, you know, route runner who doesn't, you know, have great change of direction skills with, and he's also plays without, you know, a diverse uh, route tree. Pro comparison, I'm going to have to go with Rob Gronkowski. They're similar size traditional tight ends that have great size athleticism combo to create, you know, mismatches on the field. Uh, Gronk's, you know, run after catch ability and fighting for extra yards really does remind me of Washington and what he can be at the next level. Also, the ability to be, you know, another lineman and really helping the offense block. Gronk's round red zone threat ability is what I want to see from Washington to for him to be, you know, a successful Hall of Famer in the future. Team Fitz, I'm going to have to go with the Cowboys. With Dalton Schultz on a franchise tag, I'm not sure if they're getting him back. You know, Dak's going to need a big target who DBs really do hate, uh, as well as, you know, a third down weapon or a red zone investment. I mean, it wouldn't hurt, you know, to pick up a veteran tight end to pair with Washington as well, as he is very raw and can't, in my opinion, be a number one tight end currently. Um, but, you know, I think he definitely could contribute early and become great down the road and be a successful inline blocker as well. Draft projection, I'm going to have to go with second round pick. He's still a raw prospect. He's my number three tight end and Mayer, you know, who's number one, could be uh, somewhat mid first round pick, which leaves the possibility of him slipping to late first round. Um, I want to see his athleticism and length measurements at the combine. He's a former five star, so team, you know, will love that and definitely give him a bigger role than Georgia, which I'm really excited for. Um... He's definitely showed a big jump of improvements in the receiving game in his second year at Georgia, and I want him to be dangerous at it and become great as a red zone threat. Uh, so opportunities at the NFL is limitless for him. I just want to see how all that works out. If that's all, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe button. Check out the channel. We have a lot more videos. If that's all, thank you guys for watching, and peace.